showcase a stage to display one's talents from the unforgettable moments mankind has achieved his dream this is home on the biggest stage the boyhood dream what did we just see daniel bryan did it the miracle kid to the greatest conflicts from the biggest names. But this showcase is about a man. A man who became a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has a potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve Austin. Dominating, overpowering, arrogant. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. Next day, I got a FedEx mouse and I was fired. I was like, I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're going to put the U.S. title on you, and then we're going to take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold, if anything. His moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match to determine the King of the Ring. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Approaching the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen, went to the emergency room after his first matchup with Wildman Mark Marrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I got to wonder if on his way to the emergency room, if he saw Jake the Snake Roberts being whisked away in an ambulance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man. And King, that man, Jake the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a great spot left in the ring. 450 pounds doing internal damage. To what degree, we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, oh. struggling to even get his, his reptile his reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake is gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one-ball match in the King of oh, the yeah. oh, And the Rattlesnake showing up that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? 
He's a stop for a mud hole and Jake the Snake, and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity from a relentless, unforgiving Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's pounding toward Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turnbuckle, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh man, I don't know if poor Jake the Snake is gonna be able to get back to his feet. His strike hits nothing but air. Shots right to the cranium. I hate when that happens. We've simply got to applaud the courage of both these warriors, folks. Yeah, both of these warriors, as you call them, JR, were taken to the hospital earlier today, and now both are back battling here tonight. Changing of the guard here tonight. The old man and the rattlesnake, huh, partner? Ah, oh, Jake the Snake Roberts has fire in his eyes now. And his attack misses. Ah, oh, you can imagine every one of those blows, JR. It's like thunder and lightning right into his belly time he moves. Well, Jake Roberts had a choice. He didn't have to come out here. Yeah, but this is king of the ring. And you know, you'll do whatever it takes to win. Jake the Snake Roberts doing a great job of turning that around. deal with is this amount of power and that one hit with the force of a big rig the king of the ring finals continues here stone cold steve austin ah, stunner stunner with a stunner on jake the snake roberts and the referee counts his three and austin has beaten jake the snake roberts ladies and gentlemen the winner of this bout and now reigning king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And there you see Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new king of the ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, JR. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's gonna look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel even wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. 
because I've proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 316. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Come on, that's not necessary. All he's got to do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his prime. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. As, yes, as far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come, and when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Obviously anything but humble, the fourth prestigious king of the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin.